The third and final technique that we are going to learn in this progression is called the half moon. Now, if you've noticed something, we have taken the zigzag, which is kind of a one dimensional pattern through the face of the puddle. We've added the shark tooth that dips into the front quarter of the puddle. Now what we're going to do is the half moon. The half moon is going to chase the front toe edge of the puddle closer to the B line. Now, how we're going to do that is we are going to increase our drag angle at this point from 45 degrees up to about 60 to 80 degrees. This is going to give us more push into the material. It's also going to make the puddle hotter, closer to the B line for more penetration. Let's go check that out. Now what we're doing is we're taking the arc and the arcing motion from the shark tooth and we're just elongating it a little bit more. What we're trying to do with this technique is we're trying to get closer to the front edge of the puddle, allowing us to get more heat into the material, liquefying more and getting better penetration. This works really good on thicker materials. So we want to set up the same way, set up the same way, puddle up first, just like the other two techniques, but we're just gonna try to outline the lower section of the puddle, the puddle closest to you when you're doing a pull technique. 